Um, I also want to get Moldavite. I'm joking. If you love crystals or you're fascinated in them like I am, then you are going to love today's video because today I am unboxing this bag filled with crystals from Kids Love Rock. There are a ton of crystals inside of this bag and I have no clue what is inside. They are actually all covered in dirt and sand. So together we are going to be rinsing this out and seeing the lucky charms that we can find in here. So to give a little bit of some background context, I recently got into crystals about two months ago and ever since then i have loved using them and i'm actually going to be showing you guys my crystal collection as well in this video later on my point is i love crystals i love holding them i love meditating with them i love doing a lot of stuff with them and i am just so excited so with the crystal bag came this little pamphlet and inside of it it shows which crystals you can find within the crystal bag all the crystals are real and this is such a steal for the amount of crystals that you get in here i am so excited okay i'm not gonna rant anymore about this let's open this up i'm gonna be using a strainer to strain out all the rocks and sand inside of here i can't wait let's go this should be good actually i have a better idea so I'm gonna fill up this bowl with water and then I'm gonna use a strainer. Oh my God. Oh my God, see? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see this? <gasps> So out of that pour, I got this big crystal, this one, two geoids, which you crack open. Um, this, I don't know what this is yet, it kind of looks like lace agate. And then I got amethyst. Oh, another geoid. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Oh my god. my god oh my god what the <gasps> this is carnelian i actually wanted carnelian furthermore casting okay, another geoid we got lots of geoids today oh i see one Okay, so I just finished rinsing them off and everything and I cannot believe the stuff that I got. So I'm going to show you guys and then after, since I did get some geoids, I'm going to crack those open and show you guys how cool they look on the inside. Actually, let me go get the pamphlet so I know what I'm talking about. So first up we have, I think this is just white quartz. It's also called a crystal point on the pamphlet. I really, really wanted to get one of these. First off, they are big, like they are the size of my hand and they are just so beautiful. I also got three smaller uh, crystal points and they look like this. Next, I got a bunch of amethyst. So I got this big, beautiful piece along with this tinier piece. It kind of looks like a mountain, like it's cute. And then I got three tinier pieces of purple amethyst right here next i got some rose quartz and i'm so happy because i've never had rose quartz before so i got this piece right here and i also got these two other rose quartz pieces next we have our geoids i got four of these and this is what they look like on the outside okay you can actually tell when a rock is a geoid because normally they have like all these bumps on it like this and if you shake it don't know if you can hear that, but there's like a little bit of a rattling sound inside of it. That's a good way to tell if you found a geode. So the next piece that I have here is kind of hard to tell. I am leaning towards carnelian. No, I feel like this is orange calcite, but these are the options I'm choosing between carnelian, orange calcite, or red jasper. I feel like this is not carnelian because I feel like this giant red piece here 
is carnelian but i got a ton of this crystal and i do not know what this is part of me is leaning towards zebra jasper i'm gonna go with zebra jasper and it looks like this it's like a silver it almost looks kind of greenish blue the next one that i got looks like this it's kind of yellow and i was like oh my gosh is that citrine that's my birthstone but i don't think this is citrine i think that this might be cave onyx Oh well, it's a mystery. We'll never know. Then this one. Oh my god, what is this? This is so cute. Like it looks like purple amethyst and it could be. It is so freaking tiny, but it's so cute. And you can see the little crystals. Oh my god. The next one that I got, which also happens to be the last one, is blue appetite. I love, I just love all the crystals that are such bright colors like this. Okay, so the plan is that I want to go and crack these joys open so we're gonna do that cracked it oh my god you guys oh shoot okay so i promised you guys that i was going to show you the other crystals that i have because i have been upgrading my collection for a little bit now. So I'm gonna start with the newest ones that I recently got a few days ago from a near by crystal shop. So the first one I got was Pyrite. I was really drawn to Pyrite because of the qualities it carries about like abundance and other things like that. So that is why I got Pyrite. This one I was not expecting to get when I went to the crystal shop, but it has been my favorite crystal that I have, like my absolute favorite crystal and it is honey calisite. I just want to eat this like oh I just want to eat it so bad. It looks like a mango or a clementine like I don't know it just looks so good. I was calling my name when I was at the shop so I was like Ooh. Next this is a piece of amethyst. This was like my first crystal that I got and this is a tumbled piece. I like to go to the lake to find crystals and rocks but mainly crystals and this one I had found there. I don't know if this is quartz or if this is like white agate. Kind of looks more like white agate but it looks like this and I just keep it in my plate because I do consider this a crystal and I have so many more that I found at the lake but I don't really know if they are that much of a crystal but this one I'm very positive it is. Then I got Tiger's Eye. This was another one of my first crystals and I was really drawn to Tiger. I just really liked, again, the qualities of it and I also liked the look of it. I thought it looked really nice. Next, I got Selenite and I actually do not connect with this crystal at all. Like, it's just there and I'm just like, hi, okay. But yeah, I have this because apparently it's good for cleansing crystals and I don't have incense yet, but I really wanna get some to cleanse my crystals. This one, I believe, is Jasper Munakite. And the last crystal that I have in my collection now is Glowstone. Like, it just shimmers so much and sparkly. I love it. The so crystals that I actually want to get is Malachite. I really want to get Malachite. Um, I also want to get Moldavite. I'm joking. I'm joking. But those are all the crystals in my collection. If you guys enjoyed this video, then awesome because I just found another person who loves crystals like I do. Again, I will link down in the description box below where I got the crystal bag. And I hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you next time.